going everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke here on the channel. In the last episode you guys we made it through Mount Coronet up to the summit here at uh, Spear Pillar I believe. And now we're going to take on Galactic and slap a few heads and yeah let's, uh, let's see what's going to happen. Oh before we do let's do a little team recap. So starting us off we have Crystal our Suicune. Barnabas, our Slowking, Happy, our Togetek, Bulma, our Donphan, Koga, the Venomoth, and of course, Slugger, our Mag Cargo. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it, par pardon moi. Par pardon moi. I need to get by. Well, this is unfortunate for you. The bubble beam, and then, and then, and then, uh, psychic on the Weedle. I said a good day. And fairly well. Bring out your next two Pokemon. Ariolu and Entei. Fantastic. It's perfect. Bubble Beam the Entei and then Psychic the Riolu. I doubt the Entei would go down to a Bubble Beam, but whatever. Oh, it almost did. Should take care of the Riolu. Uh, we'll finish it with a Rock Climb, Power A's, and Headbutt. Why not? And goodbye. Well, I mean, I, I would assume you were the toughest of the grunts because you had a friggin' Inte. Okay, so there's them. I need to go ahead and use... <clears throat> well, no. We'll save it. Let's do this. Lapras and a Minin. Uh, we're gonna go in with a Bubble Beam on the Minin. Lower its speed. Leaf Blade on the Lapras. Very good, very good. You just got shot in the heart. Dang! I'm gonna go with an ice thing on the mining. Oh, he's got thunder. Oh, snap. And we're paralyzed. Lovely. That Lapras is putting in work. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out and to Barnabas. Okay. 
Dang it, come on. Oh, are you kidding me? You're gonna take out. I swear to God, Quagsire, if you take out Barnabas, I will smite you. No, we're gonna have to switch. I, I do not trust Quagsire right now. It's going to happy. Go ahead and use fly. Quagsire is going to go down. This is going to be a tough battle. He's got a snubble. Man, your Pokemon are only level 40. Jeez. Let's get rid of that Lapras. Are you kidding? It stayed in. Whatever. Um, Rock Smash on the Seal. All the freaking Parker's Pokemon are just gonna get sniped by the freaking Lapras. He has a nothing. I thought for sure that the Lapras would have gone down or some BS, but... You have Crobat, which is not going to do Jack Squat. <laughs> and it avoided the attack. This is horrendous. And there goes your Crobat. <laughs> Damn. Your whole team is gonna is getting destroyed. Okay, that freaking seal is pissing me off. Get a get a hit in of something. Jeez. At least make it worth the time before you get your ass kicked. You could have at least taken out the Lapras. It's absolutely disgusting how bad your team just got walloped by a Lapras. Okay, Hippopotas. Ancient power on the seal. Damn. Got to switch out. Yeah, yeah. All right. Next up is Bulma. Let's go. Hang in there. Come on. There we go. 
there we go. Earthquake. Down goes the seal. Down goes the hippo. Nidorino and Doduo. Pretty sure that stupid Doduo is gonna have freaking levitate or some BS. No way! Such BS. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta sack off someone to heal Crystal. I cannot do anything. The crystal's still paralyzed. Crystal's gotta be able to get a nice attack ready. It's gonna agility, so we'll be able to use a super potion at least. sludge on so let's use our super potion it's got a helping hand again that's fine you go ahead and help all you can he's got acupuncture And there it goes. All right. Let's get the uh, ice fang off on that duo. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No crits. Okay, down goes the duo. Bubble beam on the Nidorino. Bubble Bean one last time, should take it out. A 
hate you both. We lost two people, or two party members in that. Oh, thanks. Unfortunately, I can't use two of my Pokemon. Now, all in everything will begin with this, the red chain made from the crystals of the three lake Pokemon. And this, the red chain I replicated with technological means. With these red chains, I will probably open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Tiaga, the mythical Pokemon and master of time, and the other, Palkia, the mythical Pokemon and master of space and dimensions. you want, bro. I've waited so long for this moment, Tiaga and Palkia. Shaping this world is, double, is a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have now can disappear. I am resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world, a world of complete perfection. I'm gonna need you to get up on out of here, bro. They're like, not today, ho. I should have accepted as much. Uxi, the being of knowledge. Azelf, the being of willpower. And Mesprit, the being of emotion. The Pokemon have come to protect the Sinnoh. Pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three late Pokemon that symbolize spirit, to balance either the Pokemon of time or space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both Diogo and Palki are here. Their coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Tatted, you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all time when I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away. From you, from your Pokemon, and from those precious to you. It is time. My dream will be my reality. Aw, oh, snap, you done pissed off the one from below. Hello? Interesting. So there is a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. I, Cyrus, won't have any more inter- Bro just like jumped at the screen like a jump scare. No. Hoaxie's like, uh, we gotta get down there. As it's like, Toronto. Mesprit's like, bye bitches. Follow me. I'm sorry it took so long. I think I finally found the answer from studying the myths. When this world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Apparently, there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. A Pokemon with as much power as Dialga and Palkia, but also one whose name was never to be spoken. Giratina. It's said to lurk in another world, a world on the opposite side of ours. 
That's what the shadow was. It must have been Giratina. The pillars are distorting. It's because of the portal. It's joined us in, from the other world. If it's not closed, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. But yeah, I'm always ready. Whee! Into the distortion world. This place. Can you feel it? There are no more Pokemon here at all. Time isn't flowing. And space isn't stable. A world where the rules are broken. A space one might call the distortion world. Let's find Giratina. We need to stop the spreading distortion of the Spear Pillar. That was Giratina. We have to hurry. If something's not done, the distortion will swallow not only our world, it will overwhelm the distortion world. Everything will die. <laughs> Alright, no Pokemans. That's what I like to hear because we just want to run around. I'm going to go this way. Screw you. Damn. This rock slab. It appears to move if you step on a certain spot. Will we get to see Giratina if we keep going down? In the distortion world, are we really traveling downward? No, we're traveling. What is up is down, what is right is left. What is around is near. And what around is what is around is triangle. <laughs> oh you Hey, Cynthia. I see you. I'm gonna go this way. 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 This way. No? Okay. The legend of Giratina has been all but forgotten, but to a few. The legend told of a world on the other side of ours, this world. Why does this world exist? Why is Giratina here all alone? There's so much that can't be explained, but we have things to do. Let's split up. We have to find the right way. I don't know where to go. <laughs> Apparently not that way. The shadowy Pokemon isn't here. It abandoned me here, then disappeared somewhere farther down. Was it content merely to interfere with my plan? Incidentally, do you understand the concept of genes? If it's true, you've impressed me. Genes can be considered the blueprints of all life forms. That includes humans and Pokemon alike. Genes are connected in a DNA strand. A DNA strand consists of two chains of opposing 
characteristics in a spiral. If one of the chains were to be broken, the other could replace it. One or the other cannot exist without its opposite. Do you understand where I'm going with this? This is a bizarre world. Time doesn't flow and space isn't stable. Only that shadowy Pokemon lives here. This world is the opposite of our world. Our world I wish to change. It is like the two chains composing a strain of DNA. The two worlds must be balancing each other to remain in existence. Without the one, the other cannot exist. The shadowy Pokemon must play a role in keeping the worlds in balance. That is why it must have interfered and brought me here. The shadowy Pokemon must have made this bizarre world. That's why trying to change our world disturbed it and made it reveal itself. But that is all irrelevant. What matters is defeating that Pokemon and making this world disappear. I won't allow it to interfere with me again. With it gone, neither world will be able to revert to its original state. Bro, you have got some issues. Pop, 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 pop. Going to assume it's this way then. Figures. We. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb. Hello. It's like use your brain. Down you go. Oh, hey, girl. Uh huh. Is it this one? Is this the one that you want to be pushed down? The one that you're next to? That's not what I wanted. <sighs> so, throw it through this hole. Oh, I'll try to look and see what's all over here. Okay. Eh. Whoa. Nope. <laughs> I 
did not wanna go that way. Oh, I guess I have to. That's a big lame. Okay. Gotta go back down. That, that's so stupid. Ah! Piss off, Caratina. You damn douche canoe. There is Oz Elf like, hey, now that you're here, you can push this one down too. Bro Chacho. Skadoosh. This will let us go over here, go down. Okay, so this one can be pushed into this one. And then this one needs to be pushed way over there. Let us continue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, guys, well, I know that we're about to do the climatic battle with Cyrus, but that's going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, we will battle Cyrus and hopefully get us a Giratina, or whatever Pokemon that it turns into, depending on if it's randomized as well. But if you all enjoyed today's episode and are excited for more, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!